Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. But for now, let's get into the video. This is gonna sound insane, but every morning when I wake up, I tell myself I will be perfectly okay if my boyfriend and I break up. The reason I do this is because I've been with him from start till now for about four months and practicing detachment means that you have to be really okay with any outcome. You cannot hold on to what the future holds. So the only way I'm able to do this is by envisioning an outcome that I may be fearful of. And when I can envision it and know I'm completely okay with that happening, I feel like I have my power back and I have nothing to lose. Whenever someone starts with this is gonna sound insane, it's most likely because it is insane. Practicing detachment not only from your boyfriend but from the entire relationship, it is in fact insane. Not even months from now you're not gonna care at all about that relationship and all you're doing is wasting someone else's time. If it's all about power to you or taking your power back, you should not be in a relationship. If you want to know what being a female CEO is like and the tiny, tiny, subtle ways you get undermined all the time, I just got off a really nice, useful call with my tax advisor slash accountant. And he said, if I were your dad, <laughs> this is the advice I'd give you, which is very sweet but I'm not your daughter, I'm a paying customer. You've charged me for your time. So there's just all these like little subtle ways that you're reminded that you're not what's expected or the norm of success. Ah, boo hoo hoo. There are two possible ways that conversation went. Hey, listen, you saved enough money, so it's time for you to spend a lot. Or the second, if you don't stop buying overpriced crap, you will go bankrupt. But no, yeah, I get it. Him trying to give you the news in a nicest way made you cry because he wasn't acknowledging your success. If I were you, with the strength of your mind, I would spend at least five years in therapy crying about a mean man. Number one, I do not cook for my husband. I only cook for my children. My husband will be making his own breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Number two, I do not help him pay any bills. So if he is short on the rent, on utilities, or anything like that, it is not my problem. I will not be helping him out. His job is to provide for his family. So I am not financially contributing to any of the bills. Number three, I do not do his laundry. I have my own laundry and my children's laundry to do, so he could do his own. I won't help him put it away. I won't help him fold anything. Like he, That's his responsibility. Number four, he... I can't even listen to number four. I'm done. I'm going to tap out. Um, so what people don't realize, this is a demonic spirit, okay? And what it is, when someone is possessed by such a spirit, they are very self-absorbed and self-obsessed they uh they cheat often they are dissatisfied with everything that you do they love money they love things they want more and more and more there's a lot of greed there but there's no actual um giving because that's not what the spirit does okay and i believe i listened to you for long enough but hey the one spirit or not my question is why do guys keep marrying these lunatics she only cooks for her kids and i bet it's just her kids and not theirs basically she doesn't do anything for her husband but he is still they're paying 100% of the bills. Okay, why? If I'm already doing everything for myself, why would I pay for someone else? Just because she exists? Seriously, why? Can anyone justify that for me? I'm not sure why this bothers so many people, but why do you care if someone's talking about their healing journey? Like, why does it bother you? Why are you so bitter? Please explain it to me because I'm on my healing journey myself. I struggled way too long alone in silence to not celebrate the fact that I made it to the other side and now I'm healing every single day trying to become a better, happier person. If that bothers you, maybe you should look internally instead of judging someone else. Or you could just stop talking about it. Why is it always that others need to look within themselves because they have a different opinion than yours? No one is bitter about your healing journey because no one cares. What they might find laughable about your healing journey is the fact that the majority of people have nothing to heal from. You couldn't find a parking spot closer to your work and you had to walk for 5 minutes. It happens. That's nothing to cry about to your therapist for the next 5 years. Okay, it's already filming. Just hold the phone. So, Dean taught me how to flirt last night, so I'm going to show you what I learned. Okay. Um, Dean, can you talk, can you be the man? 
Well, then I should stand up. Okay. Because that will be higher. Oh, you're a bit higher now. Oh, okay. Can you turn it down a little? So I'm like... Okay, go ahead. Wow, you're just like so pretty. Do you really like me that much? Was that right? Yeah, I think so. Wait, let me say it. <clears throat> Do you really like... <clears throat> Ew. Do you really like me that much? <clears throat> no, I said it in a prettier voice. The answer's the same. No, I just met you. You know what I think? And I am going to tell you either way. And yes, I'm trying this for the first time. Hmm. I am done with the whole, if you're going to be an influencer or a content creator, you need to be able to handle the trolls, the hate, the negativity, the bullying, and the mean comments. I am done with if you can't handle it, you should not be an influencer, a content creator. You know why? Because nobody can handle it. Not normal for the human brain, so nobody can handle it. You know how I know that? Name one influencer or content creator who you think can handle it. Male streamers, at least the majority of them. In case you are wondering if she has a solution to this problem, well, she doesn't. I don't think she even tried to come up with a solution, but I do believe towards the end of her video, because it was four minutes long, she forgot the topic of the video. So don't tell me what I can and cannot handle, considering I'm the one out here with nearly a million followers putting myself out there to try to spread a little joy, and you're the one who can't handle attaching your face and name to your opinions. Hmm. Sounds like someone can't handle it. Just another day living where men scare the sh out of me by existing. Sitting in the Whole Foods parking lot eating my salad. And this guy starts to like walk around my car and I'm very aware like all the time. So I just lock my door just to make sure it was locked because why is a man walking around my car? Like he comes around passenger side, goes around the back, like reads my license plate, whatever. Comes up on the side and then he stopped in front of my window. So obviously I just like, I don't look up. Because that's like the worst thing you can do is like make eye contact. So I'm like just sitting there eating like I never saw him. He knocks on my window. Why the f*** would I ever want to roll my window down? Like I didn't roll my window down. I just like looked up and he has this laminated piece of paper. And it has like this huge paragraph with like emojis and stuff. Like I guess need needing like help. Here's the thing. Laminated paper. You can have a laminated paper but you can't get food? Like... Yeah, and then he went to another car to ask for food and oh no, in that car sitting in the parking lot, it was another woman. That's obvious sign he was not hungry, he was out to get women. What's something you'll get a lot of hate for if you say it out loud? Men quit on relationships long before women quit on marriages. What the hell does that even mean? Maybe it's me. Maybe it's English failing me again or people just say words out loud and hoping others will put them in the right order. Five years later. <laughs> Forget about five years later. Where was she baiting? Chernobyl? I can't believe it's over between you two. Would you want to be with a psycho, bipolar, multi-personality, stalker, crazy sociopath? No, I wouldn't. Well, neither did he. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.